Well, hey, kids. How's everybody out there in YouTube land this evening, huh? How is everybody doing? Me and the dog are doing fine here. We're laying low on the boat this evening because, well, it's been pouring rain all day. So we're staying on board. Get out of there. But we're staying on board the boat and staying dry. So. Oh, hey, Smoking, what's up? Hey, Palm Limit, hey, Austin, Barb, how's everybody doing? Let me aim this down here a little bit. There we go, I can see a little better. Doing well, barbecue. No, no barbecue this evening, Smoking. I was going to walk over there. In fact, the sun has just come out here for just a moment, but I just took my head out the window, and it looks like it's uh, getting ready to uh, rain again on us, so... I'm just going to stay here on the boat and stay dry. I've been staying on the boat working and doing some editing and stuff. And so I'm just going to stay on the boat and stay dry this evening. Hey, Ian, what's up? Ah. Well, thanks, Doug. Yep, good evening to you, too. Hey, Frank, how are you? Hello again, man. Oh, there's some people walking down the boardwalk here, huh? Hello to everybody. Yes. Hello to everybody. What's going on, Joe Peak? How you doing, man? So interesting day today, actually. Uh, quiet. Go lay down. There are just people walking by. You don't need to wolf at them. Go lay down. Here's Miss Lily. She's all upset because she heard voices outside, and so she wants to wolf at them. Hey, go lay down. That's enough. Lay down. You don't need to be woofing at people. Sorry about that. So, hey Don, how you doing, man? Hey David, dear, hello. So interesting day today. Going to bed soon. I need to work in the morning. Okay, Ian. Well, we're we're gonna have a fairly short live stream this evening. Hey Johnny Hag. I mean, I had a really long one last night. As much fun as it was. It was a really long live stream last night. So uh, anyhow, I'm, I'm still in Spencerport. Uh, we've had some rain move in. It's been raining here all day. It's going to be raining here tomorrow. So I'm going to be here today and tomorrow. And then Tuesday, I'm going to visit uh, Kate's business. Um, I was over there earlier today. She made me some really nice vinyl graphic signs for the boat. Really awesome stuff. Actually, you know what? Let me grab them. How am I going to do this? Hold on a minute here. Hold on, let me unplug you for a second. Now, you lay down. Hold on a minute. Hey, go lay down. That's enough. Let me show you these signs she made for me today. Look at that. Huh? Isn't that cool? There we go. Ah, bring you back around. There we go. Yep. So Kate and her husband made me two of those signs today. Lily's bark is getting my dog worked up. Yeah. I don't know why Lily's getting worked up. She shouldn't be. There's nothing for her to bark at. She just heard some people going by the dock talking, and that got her all upset. So hold on. I got to plug in my computer. There we go. So anyhow... We had a really day here today, uh, just getting some work done on the boat. Yep, that'll look great on the boat. Yep. Too bad she got it backwards. No, it's not backwards. It just shows up backwards on my, on my uh, phone. So, it is the way it is. I think what I'm going to do, I, I always keep these curtains pretty much closed anyway. Um, I have a front and a back window here inside the main cockpit. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of those signs in the front window on either side. I think that'll give us the best visibility, and it won't really bother me and my view anyway, so. Great signs for putting along the boom. Yeah, I, I'm not going to put them on the boom. I'm going to put them on the windows on the side of the cockpit, so on the side of the salon here, so. That's great. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Ian, yeah, that should be pretty cool, so. Hey, Barry, what's up, ma'am? So anyhow, I went over, I visited her shop a little bit today. We went and got fuel. She was good enough to give me a drive to the next town. Actually, we had to go over to the next town. That was the closest spot to get diesel fuel. So she was good enough to give me a ride over there. So I filled up my two diesel tanks. I actually put five gallons more into my main tank. 
So my main tank right now has got about 13 gallons, 14 gallons, somewhere in there. Hey, Andy, how you doing, man? Uh, I got about 13 or 14 gallons of diesel in my main tank, and then I've got an extra 10 gallons now up on deck. And I've got uh, 6 gallons total of generator fuel, so I'm good to go for a while. So your views will go up now. Okay. Who is this lady you're talking about? Joe, the lady we're talking about was Kate the waitress from the uh, from the restaurant last night. For those of you that don't know, didn't, didn't see my video earlier, uh, Kate from the restaurant, the waitress from my restaurant last night where I ate at uh, Grandpa Sam's Italian kitchen, uh, she watched the video with her husband and, and you know, were laughing at themselves in the video and what have you. But she heard on there, uh, sexy Kate, there you go. Uh, she heard on there that, um, uh, that I needed fuel and so she texted me this morning. I got this really nice text saying, hey, Carl, this is uh, Kate from the restaurant last night, the waitress. She says, if you want, I'll buy you five gallons of diesel. Or she didn't say how much. She said she'll buy some diesel for me. And I said, well, I've got my cans. I just need to get over someplace where I can fill them. Hey, Chip. So she gave me a ride over here to the next town where I was able to fill my two diesel cans and my gas can and bring them back. So... Having retired from the cutthroat corporate world, this channel has restored my faith in humanity. Pred, exactly. Exactly. It really has. It really has. Yes, Emily's sister. Yes, Emily's sister, Kate. So, uh, my second adult beverage. Uh oh. When living in big cities, we forget sometimes the generosity of others. Isn't that the case? So, did you talk her into subbing? She did subscribe, Palm Limit. Absolutely. Yep. How Kate and Hubby helped you out with your fuel and signs too. You're making friends all in travels. I really am, Miss Shar. I really am. Hey, Richard Williams, how you doing? Good on you, Brad. Nice to hear that this story. Yeah, Paul, it was awesome. So she got she made these vinyl signs. Her and her husband have this really neat shop where you go there and they have like um, little items made out of clay. You know, little uh, plates or bowls or different shape things, you know, dogs and pigs and turtles and whatever, lettering, all kinds of things made out of clay. And what you do is you go over there and you paint them and then they glaze them and fire them and they make a permanent thing for you to have in for yourself as a keepsake from your visit to their shop. So it's a very happy place and they're doing all this kind of nice artwork and stuff. So it's really kind of a, a fun thing to be involved with. Her husband, Dan, spends most of his time working over there. Um, but they just got in this vinyl printer because they wanted to start printing vinyl signs for themselves. And I don't think they quite understand the application and, and the, the business they could be making, uh, just making these vinyl signs for other businesses and stuff. So, yes, it was very nice of Kate and her husband, Dan. So uh, they made me two nice signs. I just showed them a minute ago. It says Carl Brooklet YouTube on it. Those are going to go on either side of the boat. And they ran me down to go get fuel today. So how cool was that? And, you know, to be honest, I felt a little bad. I didn't think I left her a very big tip last night, but apparently it wasn't the size of the tip. It was, you know, being there as a YouTuber and, and having my, yes, thank you, Miss Shars. Yes, thanks to Kate and Dan. Absolutely. Good people. Yes, that's right, Peaceful Don. Good people. Nice to see the generosity everywhere you go. Isn't that the truth, Andy? Yes. Apparently, I must have uh, have uh, over uh, exuberant amount of good karma uh, right now because... Man, it certainly has been awesome lately. It really has been. Oh, that's good and cold. Thanks for the ice, Frank Daniels. Love it. Love it. So, yep, Trav's in the house. So I had a good time talking with Kate and Dan. Got soaked in the rain coming back from getting fuel. And we'll grow if you can get a handful of people from every town you stop and to subscribe. Well, that's kind of what I plan on doing, Johnny Hag. I'm going to win subscribers one person at a time. I actually had somebody comment. I don't know if you guys noticed in my comments on my other video. Uh, was it in Albion? I don't remember if it was in Albion, Spencerport, Widewater, Rockport. I don't remember which town it was in now. But somebody had commented that, you know, they appreciated my good comments about their town and how much they, they live here in the area and they, they really appreciated the fact that I spoke highly of their town. So um, I, I, get, I think that was back in Albion in, in the last town I was in. So 
No rain in Oneonta. We must be far enough away to be a wow. That's surprising. Full of bad karma. I'm giving. Hey, hey Cheshire, how you doing, Rhonda? Dave Barry, hey Grandpa, what's up in your world? Just finished the night shift, almost ready for bed. Oh man, there you go. Just wait till you get a boatload full of half-naked women. Uh-oh, Joe. I don't know if I could stand a boatload of half-naked women. You're so close to 2,300 subscribers, you're doing something right lately. Yes, my subscriber numbers are growing. Yep, I noticed that. I've been picking up uh, quite a few of them every day now. What's wrong with the other half? <laughs> Of course you could. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, just for Joe Peak. <laughs> you guys are funny. <clears throat> the price is too high. Yeah, well, I don't know about that. As long as you aren't naked, Papa. That's for sure, ma'am. That'd, that'd be the fastest way to lose the scantily clad women would be for me to get naked, so... Won't hold my breath on waiting for review on San Francisco. Yeah, probably not, Mark. Did you hear Bobby got hurt? I heard Bobby got hurt. Somebody mentioned that in the live stream. I did not see any of it. Hey, Stephanie and Vinny are watching. Hey, son. Hey, Stephanie. How you doing? Hey, Ellie, if she's still watching. Love you guys. My son, Vincent, and his wife, Stephanie Brooke, in the house. No, Richard, no barbecue tonight. It's raining outside, so I, I got pretty wet going and getting fueled today. Uh, in fact, I've got my, my shirts and clothes hanging up in here drying, too. Oh, thanks, Stephanie. I appreciate that. And I just didn't feel like going out and getting wet again. Fact is, I'm still full from yesterday, man, so just got work to do. Hey, Sorrenti, how you doing? Hello to the Brook household. Hi to the grandkids. There you go. Thanks, Ms. Shar. Yep, Stephanie, uh, Stephanie, my son, Vincent, Stephanie, she's a special lady. She really is. Yeah, Bobby's Navy mate cut loose with his machete. Bobby's Navy mate cut loose with the machete. What happened? Are you saying sugar melts? Um, yeah, sugar melts. Sure it does. When it gets wet, it melts. We were looking forward to the barbecue place, Papa. Yeah, I know, Andy, and I was going to go over there, but the fact is, guys, I'm still kind of full from yesterday. I ate so much at the Italian place yesterday, but it's supposed to rain again tomorrow, so I will do the barbecue tomorrow night, okay? That does not sound good, Bobby stuff. No, that doesn't. How was the party last night, Sorrenti? Maybe barbecue? Yes, I'll do barbecue tomorrow. I think Bobby was burned with some fireworks on his face. Uh-oh. It was fireworks gone wrong. Oh wow, okay. Bobby had fireworks exploding. Is he okay? I mean, did he did he get badly tore up? I mean, is Bob okay? How did he get fireworks so close to his face? Gave up on the diet. No, not at all. Not at all. Just because I had one pig hey, that's why I'm not eating today, because I ate too much yesterday, man. So that's sort of a weird comment. He's okay. All right. Good to know. Good to know. He did an Insta post and said he was okay. All right. Good. No one got hurt. All right. Good deal. Good deal. Beer and fireworks. Don't go. Don't, those two don't go too well. He's going to an eye specialist. Uh-oh. His face is pretty burnt. Wow. Poor Bob. He'll live. May have been alcohol involved. I can't imagine Bob would have had alcohol involved, Mike. Are you kidding me? Certainly not. Certainly, Bob wouldn't have had alcohol involved. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. I, I shouldn't have laughed about that. I like Bob a lot. I hate to see anybody get hurt. So, he's got his own personal nurse taking care of I imagine he does, doesn't he? Maybe become a real pirate. There you go. Hey, how you doing, Mama's Three? What's up? He'll have to get more beautiful women for his channel. You know, to make. There you go. I don't care for their channel. Oh, I'm sorry, Country Cruiser. Watching Carl and Lily from the boat while I get ready for another sailing season. This is awesome community. Glad to have this channel, Carl. Thanks, Trav. I appreciate it, buddy. I really do. Probably we can see you have more energy and looks like you have lost some pounds, which is great. Yes, Brad, I, I feel like I've lost quite a bit of weight and, and making good progress in that direction. So on the right side, good thing he was a nurse there. Wow. Huh. 
How's the first mate? She's doing fine. She is buried in the couch here. She just sort of snuggled into the couch and put herself to bed for the night. So she's doing just fine. Yes, pounds are definitely going away. Although you wouldn't believe it by the way I ate last night. And probably by the way I'm going to eat tomorrow night. Although everybody keeps telling me to order this like giant potato thing at the barbecue place. I guess they're, they make this insane baked potato with all kinds of fixings and a bunch of pulled pork and stuff on top of it. I don't know if I'm ready for that much carbs at one time, but no, I did not have barbecue this evening. I'm going to have barbecue tomorrow. It's raining pretty good outside, so I decided just to lay low and stay in the boat. So, yeah, Andy, that's what I was thinking. That's all. That'd be a lot of carbs. So, well, that's true, Dave. You know, you know, I was just talking to uh, Frank about that earlier. I will say this much on the boat is that I noticed being on the boat and having to deal with the you know, stepping up and down and all the things necessary with keeping the boat running. Uh, eat the ribs or steak, yeah. Um, pulled pork, yes, potato, no, yeah. I can tell you, I'm just getting in much better shape. Every day on the boat, life on the boat becomes easier and easier for me. Um, I've got a blown disc, so stepping in and out through the companionway uh, at first was very difficult, but now it's getting to be much easier. I can get in and out of the boat much easier. Um, I find I'm, I'm, I'm a bit lighter on my feet and more agile, so... Um, yeah, so it, it's been, it's been really cool. Yes, losing weight too fast is not good. I agree. Once again, Johnny Hag is right. Boat life is for, is a healthy life. It really is, Mama Street. It forces you to get out and get exercise and stuff, which is great. We're going to process, eat vegetables, whole grains, and so forth. Yep, I know what to do, Don. Yep, we'll be fine. I did not move the boat closer to the Wi-Fi. I should have today, and I was just getting ready to do that when the rain started. Uh, I got distracted with getting fuel and stuff, so maybe tomorrow. Short ribs and Lily gets the bone. Nah, I don't like giving her those kind of bones. Got to get off your backside, much different than sitting in that cold cabin. That's exactly right, Doug. Yeah, getting out and moving along. I mean, just like, you know, going and getting fuel, walking around town and stuff. It's all great exercise that normally I never would have gotten. I mean, living up here in Alaska or even in, in Ohio, when you had to go get something, what do you do? You jump in your car, you drive right over, you park at the clearhouse, the nearest parking spot to wherever you're going, you know? It's just human nature that we do it that way, so. Oh, wait till you can swim. Oh, Don, I am so looking forward to that. I, I keep looking at the canal here. I, I just can't do it. Um... I swim every day in the college pool. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting out into uh, some better water to swim. I took, I have a five-gallon bucket up on deck, and I, I use that to throw into the canal and pull water up for Lily to drink. And the other day I did that, and the water just sort of came up brown. So I stopped giving that to Lily to drink, and I it really sort of soured me with wanting to jump in and, and swim. I swam when I was crossing Lake Erie. But I'm not so sure I want to jump into the canal here. So that's right, Doug. It is working for me. Yes, we have merchandise. Yep. And in the notes down below, guys, you can check it out. We have a link to the merchandise page. And um, yeah, that's right. G O Y A, Mama Sri, right? Get off your butt. So uh, anyhow, there's uh, links down there for merchandise and also for my PayPal and Patreon, should you want to contribute. And and help out the cause. So, uh, no, nah, it doesn't look clean enough to swim. No, definitely not. No, maybe Lily. Actually, even Lily didn't seem like she wanted to. When we were there at Wildwood, there was a boat ramp. She would go down and play. I, I've got some video I'm, I'm going to put together in, in a in a video for you guys. But she would run down there and play around in the water. But she did not like. I don't know if you hear her snoring. <laughs> Pretty loud. Anyhow, um, anyhow, so anyhow, so there you go. We had a good day. We got fuel. We got some fantastic signs made up by uh, Kate and her husband, Dan, and so those are going to go on the boat as soon as it dries out here a little bit. I'm actually going to go over and film. I was going to go over there today, but it's just been too wet. I don't want to get the big camera out. I want to take my big camera into their store and film their store and try to show you guys some of the stuff that they're doing because it's just a real fun place to be, so... 
Hey, Steve Newby, what's going on, everybody? On my phone, so links are tough. Sorry to drop the ball. Oh, Rhonda, you've never dropped the ball, darling. You are absolutely golden. No problem whatsoever, dear. Never a problem. Don't worry about it. Kate rocks. Give her some love, guys. She may watch us. Oh, I'm sure she will, Andy. Yeah, they subscribe, so. My camera is bigger than yours, Donald Trump. <laughs> Hey, those guys that were on the dock here last night, they had a pretty wild camera. That thing was incredible, but I don't know. You know, I I, I guess I'm kind of old school. I look at some of this camera equipment, and it is just so fun. All of it is just so phenomenally good right now. You know, the question becomes just how good is good anymore, you know? Oh. Um. Yeah, we love Kate and her rocks. Okay. Her rocks. I'm not sure I understand that, but okay. One trillion pixels. Yeah, right? That'll be next. One trillion pixels. Yeah, I mean, it's just getting to the point where, where, you know, you, the clarity of looking, I mean, just now looking at my cell phone while I'm recording this, the clarity of my own picture here is as good as if I wasn't looking through a camera. I Just with the eye. I, I mean, it's just... It almost uh, looks too good. I mean, you know, I don't know. Maybe, I guess I don't know, but. I came in late, did you go to the uh, Kate's today and what did she do for you? Yeah, Mike, I went over to Kate's. Um, what happened to your real estate license? I'm still a licensed real estate broker. Nothing happened on my real estate license. Um, I went, okay, my son is in 6K, dumps it down to 4K, true story, wow. Um, I went over uh, and visited Kate at their shop. Uh, they have a ceramics place where you can go and paint ceramics and they glaze them in all for you. It's kind of a fun party place. And she cut some vinyl uh, signs for me, so I have some nice Carl Brook YouTube signs, which I'm going to put up. <clears throat> and then she gave me a ride over to the next town so that we could... Um, <clears throat> excuse me so i could get fuel so i went and filled my diesel cans and my gas cans and stuff so it worked out pretty good uh no i am not currently selling at the moment i've put my real estate business on hold until i got down to the florida keys and once i get down there then i'll figure out what i'm going to do so her no cool name cool name okay i guess okay so anyhow, that's what was going on. So we had a good day today, even though it rained most of the day. Yeah, very nice of Kate to do that. Yep. I just heard the ice drop and Lily was snoring. Small town America, life is good on oh, my boat. That's right. I said my boat. You're right, Mrs. Char. It's exactly what you did here. The dog snoring and the ice maker making ice. So <clears throat> yep, do a little video place. Yes, I'm going to do a little video place for her. Uh, for them, I'm gonna, they, they don't know it yet, but I'm going to try to do a little marketing piece for them. So they can use that for advertising, but I'm also going to include it in the video for my channel. So with the heat over last week, how are you doing, Cape? Oh, man, heat is gone. Heat is gone, Mike. It is 76 degrees in the boat right now, and the boat's been closed up all day today because of the rain. So it's actually colder than that outside. It's a little warmer in the boat because of the refrigeration going, but ought not up. Okay. Not sure what that means, but more heat, less amenities. Um, I don't think it's going to be more heat, Mike. Uh, the heat wave that we had here in upstate New York, the, it was actually hotter here than it was down in Miami and in the Florida Keys. So um, I don't think it's going to be hotter as I head south than what it had been up here. I mean, I had it up in, it was, you know, 95, 96 degrees inside the boat. That's as hot as it ever gets in the Florida Keys. It doesn't get any hotter than that. But at least in the Florida Keys, you have the, you have the trade winds blowing down there. So it may be 85 degrees or 90 degrees, but you got a nice trade wind blowing. So, and it was very wet, humid heat up here. It wasn't dry heat. So it was very, very humid heat up here. So that made it unbearable. But. No, I don't think it's going to be any hotter heading south. So, 
Can't get my new bank account to work with PayPal. Maybe we'll I'll try Zelle later on if that's okay. Yeah, Frank, I'll try to set that up then this evening and see if I can get that to work on that Zelle app. So, yeah, heading to Florida to cool off. Yep, I agree. I agree. Yeah, 84 in North Carolina, um, that's not that bad. Or is that Northern Cali? I can't tell what, by the way you initiated that, so. You got water to jump in down south. That's true, Mama Street. Yep. If I get hot, I can always go jump in the water. Go for a swim. Are you going to hug the coast on the way down? <clears throat> yes, Don. I'm going to stay along the coast. I'm probably going to do some intercoastal and some offshore combination of the both, uh, depending on where I'm going to be. Uh, I know I want to get uh, from New York. I want to get down to Annapolis for the Bojo. Uh, I think that's in October. And then, uh, then head down to Florida, be down there by the end of November or so. Okay, just trying to get my head around your temps. We're in winter now. Ah, we are in summer here. Mark has to be in Northern Cal. Not if he's in winter, he's someplace else. Are you nervous about being in open ocean and a new untested by you boat? No, not at all, Don. The boat's getting tested at this point. Yes, we'll definitely have a meetup in Annapolis. That first shakedown sale. Yes, Johnny Hag, I am too. That first shakedown sale is probably going to be on the Hudson River once I put the mast back up, once I get over by Troy. Uh, there are some, some opportunities to do some sailing down the Hudson if the wind's right. So we'll see. But. It'll be nice to get the sails up. Yes, Northern Cal. Okay. Huh. Well, if you're in Northern Cal, then you're not in winter. You're in you're in spring going into summer then. So, I guess. At least you should be. So, Joe Peak, $25 on PayPal. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate that, buddy. Joe Peak just hit my PayPal account for 25 bucks. Awesome, Joe. Thank you very much, sir. Once again, I appreciate it every time you donate, sir. So thank you, Joe. You rock, man. You absolutely rock. Albany, New York City. How does the current flow on the Hudson? From Yes, it flood, it, it goes from Albany to New York City. It's, it's a downhill run for me all the way, guys. All the way. How fast have you been sailing in the canal? I've heard that one in a while. I haven't heard that one in a while. Um, I've been doing about six miles an hour in the canal. So, Joe, 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 there you go. You're welcome. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Uh, Carl, I love the show last night. Well, thank you, man. I enjoyed the dinner last night. That was a lot of fun. So, is it Mike that's in winter? Mark is in NorCal. Oh, okay. Maybe I've got it backwards then. Maybe I have it backwards. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Okay. <laughs> Mike Smith saying thanks, Mike. Okay. I guess that's what it is. All right. Uh, no Carl with the sail up. With the sail up. Yes. Uh, I heard it was a great one. Yes, Joe. It was a good, it was a very good live stream last night. We had a lot of fun with it. We had a lot of fun, but no, uh, once I get to Troy, New York, I'll be able to put the mash back up and then I'll be able to uh, no calling trolls. Okay. Carl, is mold an issue on the boat? I haven't seen any mold on my boat yet. Uh, I'm really surprised. I've been expecting it. Um, I don't have any water leaks really anywhere on the boat, but I've not seen any spots of mold. You know, normally you get those little black, black specks and stuff. I'm not seeing any indication of mold anywhere. So, no, I, I don't have mold issue. And then what I was saying is when I get over to Troy, New York, that's when I'll be on the Hudson River. And I'll be able to put the mast up, and I should be able to do some sailing down the Hudson River with the, with the mast up, with sails, with wind. Yes, the whole nine yards. Uh, there are some places on the Hudson I should be able to sail. So, you keep yes, I do keep the boat open a lot. Did you ever finish the head? Um, yeah, it's finished. It needs painted, but it's finished. So, yeah, no, no mold on the boat at all. But like I said, I do tend to keep my boat open all the time. I keep the companionway, the forward hatch, the companionway uh, always open. So I get a lot of air movement through the boat. So let's tie up in Troy and enjoy Albany night together. Hey, Don, sounds like a plan, man. We can do that. Absolutely. 
Great, I watched a video yesterday about condensation. Yes. Yeah, um, <clears throat> condensation, you know, I, I just haven't experienced much of a problem with that yet. So, what sales do I have? I have four sales altogether. I've got a, you know, the main sale, I've got a working jib, a 150, and a storm sale. Um, yes, that's what I have. But I'm, I'm not actually, uh, my boat is set up so I could run an inner force day and have my roller furling. Uh, but since I'm single handling it, I'm only doing the roller furling. I'm not installing the uh, the inner force day. So that doesn't give me the ability to running two head sails simultaneously, which is fine with me. I want to keep the rig as simple as possible for the time being. So as it just means it's getting dark in here. I'm getting hard to see. I'm afraid to open the, the door or the window because I'm afraid I'm going to get rain coming in. But I watched your video when you were sick. Took a while to get here, but I got it. I'm sick. Oh, Poppy, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, dark. Yes, I'm dark. Okay. Um, all right, let me, uh, let me fix the dark here real quick. Hold on a minute. Oh, I think I can, I think I can put a light on. Hold on a minute. Turn you guys around again. Go lay down. Arrgh. There, that's better. How's that, huh? Can you see me now in the glow of the light? Let me get myself all plugged back in. Uh, what's the idea? Uh, inner force day, Carl? Oh, no problem, no problem. Uh, inner force day enables me to add uh, two uh, head sails. So you have your main head sail out on the uh, spinnaker, uh, on the non spinnaker, but on the roller furling. And then behind that, I have a second uh, sort of roller furling mechanism where I can hang a second sail of, out on the fore deck, out in the front. So I've gone. Mine. Blind? Will you ever sail on the West Coast? Um, maybe, but I don't have any plans on going over to the West Coast anytime soon. I used to have a boat over on the West Coast. I used to keep a boat in Seattle. Uh, and I have no intention of going back far north with a boat anyway. So, okay. Better, better, better. Looks great. Good, better, important. Did you wash those dishes? <laughs> No, I haven't washed the dishes yet. I will wash the dishes tomorrow. I promise you. So, there you go. Better. Made it again. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Wendy. How are you doing? Okay, just open the curtains opposite set opposite you. No, I just turned the light on over there. So, where I'm where I'm parked, there's like a walkway right along the side of the boat here. And so a lot of times people will be walking by and I don't really care for people to be walking by and looking in my windows at me. So I keep the windows pulled closed. I don't know why I'm worried about it, but Carl needs a woman. I certainly do. Yep, I certainly do. Yep, and, I, and not just for doing dishes either. I need someone to be on board to help with a whole bunch of stuff actually. So Lily needs to do the dishes, yeah. Lily likes doing the pre-run cycle. Yeah, that's sexist. Carl needs a companion. There you go. That's much better, Don. There you go. Lily is a dish licker. Yeah, she's the she's the pre-wash cycle. A dish and a cold beer on the table. There you go. A woman who likes to sail. That would be nice. Maybe Roseanne Barr. Oh, hell no. Hell no. You need to mess up a good thing that he's got going now. Yeah, well, there's something to be said about that too, Akula, but. Or a man who also does dishes and can handle the locks. Yep, there you go. Yeah, it would just be nice to have someone to share the trip with, is, I guess is more important than anything else. So, Rosanna's dangerous after she's off her meds. <laughs> Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. I've never been a big Roseanne Barr fan. I don't know why. Um, she's kind of a loud woman, and uh, 
I guess I, I like women that are a bit more demure than that. Um, I don't know. I, I never really thought of her as being particularly funny, even when they had that show years ago. But describe my perfect woman. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that would be tough. Uh, perfect woman. Um, I would say somewhere in her late 40s, early 50s. Um, Strong-minded. Opinionated. Yes. <clears throat> Able to handle a good conversation. Good sense of humor. Um, Carly, you're sharing your trip with all of us. Well, I am on mystery. I know that. But it's nice to have somebody else on board here just to do stuff. So she can be food demure, huh? That'll take a while. Me neither. Or yeah. Yeah. I've never covered a non-smoker. Yes. Absolute non-smoker. Absolutely a non-smoker. Uh, non-smoker, non-druggy. I don't mind if she drinks a little bit. That's fine. Um... What else? Um, somebody willing to hang out and help out, you know, someone that's willing to pitch in and, and, and help out with stuff. So I, I know, and I'm not trying to make it sound sexist, but it's like, you know, when I'm driving the boat, I'm kind of stuck up in the cockpit and it would be nice to have someone make a cup of coffee and hand a cup of coffee up to me or, you know, someone to handle the camera and be filming, you know, while, while I'm doing stuff. Um, it's like the other day when I was working on putting the water pump back in. It would ruin, I really wished I had someone here to film me putting the water pump back in. My hands were covered in grease. I couldn't film myself while I was doing that. So, um, I don't know. It would just be nice to have somebody else on board to share that stuff with. I just flicked back to an old Snow Hut vid. You were looking so much happier and quite a bit more trim. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uh, I believe dropped all reruns. Wow. Okay. Or a sandwich. Carl, oh man. That's not very PC in today's world. Hold the arms so you can use the head. Yeah, so, exactly. Someone that could, you know, hold the helm if I have to go down and use the bathroom. And I'm not saying, you know, it has to be a female to make coffee or something, but just someone to help out. Someone that could take the helm while I come down and make coffee. I don't care. I'm not sexist that way. I don't believe in pink and blue jobs on the boat, you know. If I have a, a female on board the boat, I want her to be able to run the boat as well as I do. I want her to be able to navigate and operate the boat and work on the engine or whatever needs to be done. So um, it's, it's impossible, Don, here on the canal. Um, the canal is flowing at two knots by itself. Um, and there's a lot of places where it's very hard to drop an anchor um along in the route because then you're blocking the canal because you know it's, it's pretty narrow in a lot of spots so i'm finding it's very difficult to try to stop and be able to do anything while underway she would be tolerant of the head well yes yeah, she'd have to be you know she'd have to be the kind of girl that wouldn't mind an outhouse you know um a low low maintenance female <laughs> on sailboat swap shop of book face someone selling ST4000 helm rig. Oh, okay. Send me a link to that if you would. I'd like to see that. Because I think I may have to replace the motor on my on my uh, wheel pilot. So I don't know yet for a fact. I was actually going to wait till I got to Long Island and see my buddy Drugless and have him come over and test the wiring circuits and and run it down for me. He's the mechanic, so he should be able to find those things, right, Doug? Or at least that was kind of what I was thinking. So I'm really not going to need the pilot until I get down to Long Island anyway, because I'm going to be in River. So what's the plan, Carl? July 4 on the Hudson in New York City? Yes, that's kind of what the plan is. That's that's the only thing that I'm trying to get organized uh, in my own mind is I'd like to be in New York Harbor, off to the side of the harbor, preferably, to watch the fireworks then. So... We should all pitch in and get Carl Pirate Strippers. Uh-oh. Rank full of Frey Fred. I see that Uma is swapping out their composting toilet for an actual marine head. Well, of course, yes. 
Got it covered. Okay. Yeah, and I will too. I'm going to swap out my, my plumbing for a regular head. I just wasn't prepared mentally or financially to do that at the time. So uh, one of my viewers who's been a, a really good friend on here has got a head waiting for me. He's going to ship it to me. Uh, Dave Marshall, he said as soon as I'm ready, he'll ship the head to wherever I'm at. And then I'll have a brand new head. He's going to send me a bunch of the plumbing parts and that kind of stuff as well. So when the time comes, I'll dig into the four peak and I'll, I'll replumb all that stuff and get a regular head installed. So Uma won't mind. Okay. No sailing Uma. What's wrong with sailing Uma? Not Uma Thurman. There's a YouTube channel called Sailing Uma. U-M-A. Oh, being sailed. Okay, I guess, whatever. Night. Hey, John. Good night. We'll see you. Yeah, actually, we're probably going to end this live stream here pretty soon. I, I wasn't intending on going too late tonight. I really don't have a whole lot of an update for anybody today, except to say that, uh, you know, we had a real quiet day. I spent most of the day organizing videos, uh, inventorying and organizing videos and stuff. Uh, these old restless twos and dry dock for repairs. Okay, cool. Um, so anyhow, that's what I spent most of the today doing. And then I got fuel and I got these really cool uh, vinyl signs made up. So thanks to Kate and her husband. It's hard for you to follow a joke on the chat. Yes, it is, I guess. How do you wash your clothes? I stop and use a laundromat at different places. Um, usually there's a laundromat within walking distance of the canal, some towns, and so I, I'll go to the laundromat and wash my clothes. I haven't seen Lily if she crashed out. There she is. There's a the dog. She's asleep again, so. I hear Marilyn for yard work again, Carl. Oh, gosh. Yard work. Boo hiss. He tosses them overboard and Lily fetches. Yep, there you go. <laughs> uh, I've got to ask your subs for help. Please sign the organ donor section on your driver's license. Heaven knows we need your organs here on earth. There you go, guys. Little, little, uh, what do they call that? Um, public, public service announcement. Yep, please, uh, Please check to be an organ donor. There's a lot of people out there, a lot of good people who need those organs should you uh, be in a situation where you can donate. So, is it hard to mow the grass? Uh, there's no grass on the Erie Canal. My boat is grass free. Yep, she crashed out. Thanks for showing me. No problem, D. No problem. Well, not on sunny days, Wood. <laughs> can you show us the signs Kate made? Um, I just showed them a moment ago, but yeah, let me unplug here. I'm going to have to spin you around and then I'll show those to you. So hold on. No, go back to sleep, dog. Erg. That's the sign she made. I have two of them like that. Can you see them? YouTube, and then Carl Brook. And no, they're not backwards. They're just showing up that way in the camera. So, um, tell you what, while I got you spun around, let me grab a beverage here real quick. Ah. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to get some ice while we're here. I have a big supply of ice. Thank you, Frank Daniels. Hold your belly down. Go on, girl. And we're back. <laughs> yep, my uh, table here in the salon spins, as you can see. And uh, that's what I have to do to get in and out. I just spin it over out of my way so I can get up and down. So now I'm plugging you all back in so I have power. And let me go back and see what I missed in the chat. Um, yeah, I woke Lily up by, by turning the sign. Oh, yeah, they're really nice signs, aren't they? Cool to have a bird on the boat like a parrot. No, birds make a lot of mess. No, they're not backwards. It's just the way my camera shows them up. The SBA from one who would benefit from a kidney. 
Everyone gets two. You only need one redundant system. There you go. What's a life? Okay. Is it worthwhile dragging a lure in the canal? You know, Dave, it, it's not because I'm traveling at six knots, and that's too fast for any of the fish in the canal. And I choose not to go slower. I could just go slower, but... Um, yeah, it's uh, the speed I'm traveling at is not a good trolling speed. So, David, do you mean troll? Doug sounds like an MD. You know, Doug, Doug is a auto mechanic who is having kidney failure and is on the kidney list for a kidney donation. And so it's near and dear to his heart, as it should be to everybody. So... Yeah, that will look cool on the boat, man. Very nice sign, so. Dad built his own Luger houseboat from a kit. Took it out a couple times, didn't like the way it handled, and let it rot in a shed. So sad he would have loved to do what you're doing. Oh, man, that's a shame, John. That's a shame. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I tell you, the canals have really been uh, a surprise to me a lot different than what I was anticipating, but yet very pleasant, very, very pleasurable to sail down the Erie Canal or motor as it really is down the Erie Canal. It's it's beautiful. I mean, the sides of the canal are beautiful. There's very little traffic on the on the canal, very little. <clears throat> Signs should go on the boom. Uh, on the boom, there's too much stuff on the boom that would cover them, so they're going to go on the sides of the cockpit on the windows. Used to watch a lot of YouTube sailing channels. Are you still keeping up with that? No, Dave. Uh, I am. I'm maxing out my internet uh, <clears throat> availability with my cellular system, so I'm not able to keep watching everybody else's videos like I was. So, uh, still be able to steer and troll two miles an hour for fish if you wanted to. Yeah, it would be hard to steer if I shut down the engine. So. Thanks, Don. It happened to be eight years so far. Okay. See if Kate will help you put the signs on the boat. Oh, I can put them on. I've done that before. Hey, JD. How you doing, Jan? Yes, I did get diesel fuel and gasoline today. So, thanks to Kate and her husband, Dan. Signs are easier to remove from glass and time to when time to trade up. It's kind of what I was thinking, too. Um, and, and they would be up high and visible, uh, any place else on the boat, they really wouldn't be that visible. And I really don't want to put them on the, uh, freeboard of the boat side of the boat, cause it really needs a lot of cleanup. I want to get it cleaned up and painted and stuff. And so what would I do with the vinyl lettering on it then? I'd have to tear it off and redo it. This way, if I put it on the window, it can stay on there pretty permanently. I'm not going to paint the windows or anything. I'll just be around here off to clean them. So yes, Kate and Dan were awesome for helping me out with that. Um, yes, it's still raining, Frank. Yep, it is still raining. Not as bad as it was earlier, but it's still raining. And the forecast is it's going to rain straight through all tomorrow as well. Is it legal to use fish traps where you are? You could set them every night. Um, I don't know, Dave. I, I haven't, um, I haven't researched that. I, don't, I mean, I could put out like a minnow trap or something, but I don't know about big fish traps. Yep, WD-40 removes stickers and vinyl. Yes, I know, Doug, but it also destroys them when it removes them. There's no way of lifting the vinyl off and being able to reuse it. So I want to make sure I put them someplace where I'm going to get uh, some good lifetime out of them. Wish it would rain here in Australia. Yeah, right? Yep. Yeah, if you're in Australia, then you're definitely in uh, winter down there, aren't you? I'll be gone. I use it 10 times a week. Uh, Gooby gone. Yep. Yep. That, that's good stuff in it, Aaron. Motown song. Motown song. Not sure. We're very dry. Okay. Yeah, it's 10 centigrade and a drizzle. Oh, okay. Did sure use some rain here in Texas. Oh, there you go, Chip. Yeah, well, we needed some rain up here. It was really hot, and so this rain has sort of pushed away the hot weather, and it's really cooled off the air here. And surprisingly, even though it's raining, the humidity drops sub substantially. So 
Winter's digging in in Australia, huh? Down under. You're still in a drought. Oh, wow. Yeah, I heard Australia's been pretty dry. Weird how weather patterns change from one place to another like that. But anyhow, kids, that's about all I got to report today. Um, I got fuel. I got diesel. I got gasoline. I got great vinyl signs done by Kate and her husband. Um, got work done organizing some video files and stuff on my computer. Didn't really do any video editing, but just organizing the files and stuff. Um, and I even watched a vid I even watched the movie today. I sat in, in fact, I'm halfway through the movie right now, so I'll finish it after the live stream. But that's about all that's really going on up here uh, in Spencerport, Spencerport, New York. So uh, I'll send a donation soon. Well, thank you, would be appreciate that, man. Appreciate it. not necessary, but certainly appreciate it. So. Yeah, please do like and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up if you would. That'd be great. You hey, might gonna watch two streamers around Adelaide. Sammy is one. Oh, cool. Cool. Isn't it amazing? I mean, guys, isn't it really amazing the technology we have today? I mean, here we are doing a live stream, and there's a fella in Australia watching my live stream. How cool is that? You know? Completely on the opposite side of the planet. I just think that's just so amazing today. So... Doug, I'll say a prayer for you. There you go. That's classy. Thank you, Woodby. Appreciate it. Yep, it is absolutely amazing to me. I mean, you know, I'm I'm an old guy. I'm I'm gonna turn 60, I think, this year, and I just I'm blown away by what technology is doing now. It's just amazing to me. I hear the Earth is flat. Yeah, that's what I heard too. I'm on my boat in New Brunswick, Canada. There you go, Trav. Nice. I did some bear hunting up in New Brunswick, a town called Nicktaw. You know where Nicktaw is? Oh, smoking. I enjoy you visiting with us as well. All right, everybody's wishing everybody good night. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and end this. Uh, you're in Spencerport. Is that where Trav Spence is from? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Bear running. Yeah, I did some bear hunting. Bear hunting. I did some bear hunting up in Nicktaw, New Brunswick. So up in Canada. Uh, nice. I'm in northern Victoria. You can Mike Smith. Okay. 45 minute drive from your place. Cool. Regarding swimming in the canal beneath the seemingly calm surface of the Erie Canal, dangers lurk. Yes. Yes, Ms. Shar, you, you got that off their website. Yes. I read that article as well. So they really suggest not swimming in the canal. They don't. It's not illegal to swim in the canal. It's just highly suggested that people do not swim in the canal. So colder there yep okay Rhonda has a YouTube channel yeah okay let's do that Rhonda anybody's got a YouTube channel go ahead and throw your uh, it's shameless plug time go ahead and say hey I got a YouTube channel check me out I know Rhonda's got one I know Poppy D's got a channel Akula's got a channel uh, who else has got channels on here go ahead and give yourself a shout out so you can try to pick up some subscribers so tout part out eBay out part out eBay. I have a metal detecting channel and fishing channel a little bit. Come check me out. Yeah, Poppy's got an interesting channel. He does some interesting stuff. And, and it's, it's a lot too. He's got his grandkids in there a lot. So it's kind of cool watching Poppy D's channel. Um, who's the one in Tampa? My son, Terminator D4 remote control airplanes. There you go, Don. There you go. All right. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pull the plug on this. We've been almost an hour, not quite, and I'm just tired tonight. Tomorrow, I will be having barbecue. I'm going to eat at the Texas barbecue place tomorrow, so you guys will be able to come over with me with that, and we'll have some fun checking that out. So, okay. Everybody's gotten their stuff out there. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, guys, we guys all have a really good evening. You guys take good care of one another, and we will see you guys in the morning. Be good and be careful, folks. And everybody that donated, I really appreciate the donations. You guys rock. Uh, so thanks to all, everybody for that. But you guys all have a great evening, and we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Good night, all.